What's next? More monsoon. Of course, we'll get some sunshine as we start off the weekend, but the clouds will definitely build, especially in the afternoon evening, and we'll continue to see this moisture stream in from the south. This is that monsoonal moisture. This is what caused the flash flooding from those thunderstorms we had over the Pocatello American Falls area yesterday, and so we'll get another surge of this moisture tomorrow. And then there's a hurricane way behind that. Hurricane Hillary, I'm sure you've heard. Look at the eye. Category 4 hurricane. Fortunately, by the time it reaches the coast of the western U.S., it's going to be a tropical storm, but it's expected to be a tropical storm and make landfall sometime Sunday evening around the San Diego area. Now, even though it's not going to be a hurricane, it's going to do a lot of damage in its wake. Tropical storms have a tendency of producing a tremendous amount of rain, and this one will be no different as it pushes into Nevada. We'll see catastrophic rainfall. Some areas, at least in the high country of Nevada and Southern California, up to 15 inches of rainfall. That is crazy. Well, some of that's going to trickle into East Idaho and Western Wyoming. In fact, we'll get the leading edge of that moisture as early as Sunday during the daytime. Uh, excessive rainfall forecast. Well, there's a potential torrential rain all over East Idaho with the greatest threat in the Central Mountains. And if we see this torrential rain, there's a risk of flash flooding all across the map, East Idaho into Western Wyoming. So there you go. Sunday's going to be the ickier of the two days, if you will. That's putting it mildly, I think. 63 will be the low at Pocatello tonight with a partly cloudy sky. So enjoy the dry weather. Tonight, too, in Idle Falls, partly cloudy sky above with a low temperature of 59. Just a smidge cooler than it was last night, but still warmer than usual for nighttime temperature. Tomorrow, no 90s. Still pretty warm, but 87. Like that better than the, the 92 we had today. You'll see some sunshine. I don't think it'll be quite as sunny as it was today. And then those clouds will build in the afternoon with a chance of afternoon, evening showers and thunderstorms. It will be breezy off and on throughout the day, especially in the afternoon. Same thing for Pocatello, a little bit on the breezy side with sunshine and clouds and a chance of afternoon, evening showers and thunderstorms. High of 86, so working our way down temperature-wise. And it looks like Pocatello and Idle Falls is not going to be the only place that could see some showers and thunderstorms. There's a potential of that all over Central Mountains, East Idaho, Magic Valley, into Wyoming, up into Montana. But good news, as of right now, it doesn't look like there's any severe thunderstorm threat. The kind of thunderstorms are producing destructive hail and damaging winds. So at this point, that's not in the forecast, but definitely more, uh, some of those garden variety thunderstorms at least. Temperatures cooler all over the place. Some of us will be in the comfortable 70s. Lettower, you're at 78. Mackey, you're at 79. Travel tracker. Well, if you go west, I think you'll stay out of the storminess. Still got some heat over in Boise. You stay east, north, maybe south, you'll be getting some, seeing some thunderstorm activity, especially in the afternoon. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer, seven-day forecast. Sunday, ah, yes, the wetter, cooler half of the weekend. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a potential of very heavy rain, and we could see that even linger into Monday. Finally, the weather will start to clear up. And we'll see a little more sunshine as we get farther along the work week. But we're in for a wet half of the weekend. So FYI, uh, temperatures rebounding a little bit, but not nearly as hot as they have been. No 90s for the next seven days. Same thing for Rexburg High of only 68 on Sunday. How's that for a cool down with rain likely and a risk of thunderstorms? We could see that risk of thunderstorm activity into next Wednesday. Teton area. Definitely rain. If not tomorrow, you'll get quite a bit of rain Sunday. Even chances of more rain and thunderstorms into Wednesday. And for the Central Mountains, chance of showers and thunderstorms with temperatures cooling off a bit, especially on Sunday, down to 64.